Hey, we're back again with the book of Bereshit, the book of Genesis. And at the end of chapter 7, it says, And the waters were mighty on the earth, 150 days. And Elohim remembered Noah, and all the beasts, and all the cattle that were with him in the ark. And Elohim made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters subsided, and the fountains of the deep, and the windows of the Shamayim were stopped, and the rain from the Shamayim was withheld. And the waters record, receded steadily from the earth. And at the end of a hundred and fifty days, the waters diminished. And in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, the ark rested on the mountains of Ar, Ara, Ara, Arad. And the waters deceased, I mean, decreased steadily until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains became visible, and it came to be at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made, and he sent out a raven which kept going out and turning back until the waters had dried up from the earth. Then he sent out a dove from him to see if the waters receded from the face of the ground, but the dove found no resting place for its feet and returned into the ark to him. For the waters were on the face of the of all the earth, so he put out his hand and took it and pulled it into the ark to himself, and he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out from the ark, and the dove came to him in the evening, and see a freshly plucked olive leaf was in his mouth, and Noah knew that the waters had receded from the earth. And he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return to him again. And he came to be in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, uh, that the waters receded, I mean, that the waters were dried up from the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and saw the surface of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth was dry. And Elohim spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every living creature of all flesh that is with you, of birds, of cattle, and all creeping creatures that creep on the earth. And let them teem on the earth, and bear and increase on the earth. So Noah went out, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him, every creeping beast. I mean, every beast, every creeping creature, and every bird. Whatever creeps on the earth according to their kind went out of the ark, and Noah built an altar to Yahuwah, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean, clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And Yahuwah smelled a soothing fragrance, and Yahuwah said in his heart, Never again shall I curse the ground because of man, although the inclination of man's heart is evil from his youth, and never again smite all life. As I have done before, as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest and cold and heat and winter and summer and day and night shall not cease. Hey, I hope that you have a great day, y'all. All live in harmony. Later, eight, eight, eight.